All right, guys, I just saw this bias update on my Asus uh, because of the prompt there on your uh, right hand side. That's why I went to my Asus and guess what? There uh, we have a new bias update here. Okay, so it's gonna, we're going to download the 309. Uh, this time we're going to use the Windows utility so it's going to be easier for us. All right, so we've downloaded that and what we're going to do is basically just run the exe file at what at, like what we're doing here we're going to run that press yes and just go through the motion okay all right sure we're going to proceed with it of course agree then do next and then it will prompt us to restart okay we all right guys i just restarted the machine and it went straight to the BIOS uh, Easy Flash Utility. So this should bring our BIOS from uh, 308 to 309. Okay, so we'll continue to record this and see what happens here. All right, it's almost about a minute now. You could see there we are currently at 308. Okay, so we've downloaded the Windows Easy uh, uh, Flash Utility, right? So after downloading, just do a restart. Make sure that your power is plugged. You know, that's very important. Then you go ahead and uh, say yes to the next steps. Okay, it's about done. Hopefully the throttling of our CPUs and other issues that we'd encounter with 308 should resolve this, okay? Um, I'm glad that Asus has released a new version or a new BIOS update. You know, I even went as far as uh, sending them an inquiry by email to to see what's happening and reporting the issues on the 308. Okay, it says there BIOS upgrade is processing. Don't turn off your computer. Okay, so there's lights here, no problem. Let's see. Okay, so it turned off again. It looks like it's gonna restart. We, we do have, we can see some activity on the LED lights here. And the keyboard is up and running. All right. Okay. I'm gonna post this really soon and hopefully help some of our folks reporting the 308 issue. So, all right, that's a good sign. You can see the ASUS sign. Uh huh. Okay. I'm using a dual monitor, so okay. Looks like uh, I'm still running its update. Okay, keyboard lights up, blinking lights there for activities. All right, Let's see what happens here. Okay, and hopefully that should prompt me to log in, and it did. It did. Okay, so what we've done here is uh, launch the My Asus application. Um, actually, it's the My Asus application is acting a little weird. It took some time to open this, but you can see here that the bias update, right? Uh, okay, not no no new bias uh, or driver updates there. Uh huh. Okay, seems the same options here that we have. We're gonna run the uh, test. Uh, hardware but guys I'm telling you it's taking so much time so we'll see what happens there the other way to check if the bias has been updated is through DX Diag so let's go to DX Diag let's run that and yeah look at that we are actually at the bias 3.9 version so it seems like the bias did apply um, but from this point on it's best to actually test and observe what's going to be the performance you know i realized that uh, if there are new bias update it's better to install it a week or two so we get more feedback about it you see that it's 3.9 so waiting for your feedback guys uh, stay safe and thank you